And here we are, part two. I have returned from the void. My camera is on. I've checked my settings. Let's check the camera. We got the wide angle. Let's check the audio settings. <laughs> All right, it looks like StreamYard did an update. They did an update. That was weird, 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 weird. But I am back. Did you miss me? I hope I wasn't gone too long. Can you see my lion in the background? Okay, where's Isaac? I don't know what to do this picture. How about that? Yeah. Okay. How is that? Is that better? Tell me, my friends. Does it sound better when I speak to this part or to this part? Where is the part that I should speak to? That's a good question. Tell me, friends, viewers, does it sound better when I speak to the talk top of the microphone? Or does it sound better when I speak to the front of the microphone? This is the front of the microphone. This is me talking to the top of the microphone. Top of the microphone, front of the microphone. What sounds better, the front of the microphone? Or does it sound better when I'm speaking to the top of the microphone? Does it look like I'm eating a popsicle? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out where the best sound quality is. If you guys can help me type some stuff in the comments, this is the front of the microphone. This is the top of the microphone. Which part of the microphone is giving the best audio? The top of the microphone? The front of the microphone? Please leave your comments down below so I can find out if I'm doing sounds fine in front. Okay. <laughs> Greg, it's always you watching me. Hey, I think StreamYard did an update because my camera got zapped and then... I uh, had to reboot my computer and load it up again. Thank you, Chris Guerrero. The front. I will speak to the front. Here it is. Here's the front of the microphone. Maybe I will get um, some sort of a spit guard or something to stop the pop, 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 popping sounds. All right. Chic Voyage, Investing Nomads. How are people... Greg, are you watching me in two different... Like, how is Investing Nomads watching me? I don't understand. And how you're watching me as Chic Voyage as well. Are you... Like, how are there two of you? This is weird. It's like I'm watching myself and responding to myself. Anyways, I do like the name change, Greg. I do prefer digital nomads in Asia. Yes, I know you want me to get a second monitor. Yes. Okay. I like digital nomads in Asia and in Asian Americas. I like that better. All right. Let's take a look at the holders. I'm going to share my screen. Going to go to Million Token. Going to go to the contract because I don't have... Ooh, there's a bridge to BSC now. That's new. Holders, 13,244. Let's look at them big wallets. Okay. Yeah, still 17% between tech lead and the first and the first Uniswap liquidity pool. Okay, the AnySwap bridge. And did we figure out who not, not Alpha Capital is? Who is not Alpha Capital? But I bet they're not Alpha Capital. All right. Look at that. We got some MM, a thousand or bust. <laughs> I love it. Who did that? Who did that? That's a great name. 6,500 coins. Wow. There's still no whales, right? Like this is still pretty good. Just that 30,000 guy, just the 3%er, and then 24% after that, 18%. A, oh, sorry, 1.8%, uh, 1.8%. We're doing good, folks. We're doing so good. Okay, thanks, Greg, for figuring you logged in under Investing Nomads. Okay, you got more MM last night, 88 bucks, and uh, BSE, good for you. You're stacking your sacks. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. See you, Rung. Welcome back. Thank you. I don't know what happened. I think uh, StreamYard just went through an update because when I logged back into StreamYard, they had a new audio uh, sorry, a new uh, mic, a new uh, speaker test. So that's probably why. All right. Even YouTuber Living with Lucy has thrown a couple bucks in. I know I, I watch her. She's kind of funny. She's kind of funny to watch. 
Can I change my wallet address alias? Yes, you can. I don't know how to do it. If anybody knows, but I don't want my, I don't want to put my name on there. We're not going to put investing nomads on there. Hmm. <laughs> uh, price was 44 last night. All right. Traveling. I did have a good, nice weekend with my jet ski. How did you know? Are you on my Facebook? Are you one of my Facebook friends? Traveling. Traveling. Who are you traveling? And how do you know about the jet skis other than what I told you? But you said it looks like I had a nice weekend. That means you're, you've seen pictures. Have you seen pictures? Are you following me? Are you stalking me? Inquiring minds want to know. So I did sell some, but I still have 2,900 in different wallets. Uh, do you think Techly will pull the trigger to get us on the Binance exchange? I mean, I would hope so, right? Chris, wouldn't that be amazing to be on Binance, the world's largest exchange? Could there be any exchange with more prestige? Well, maybe crypto.com. But yeah, I mean, Binance, heck yeah. The great thing about the million token is it's the scarcity. There's only a million tokens available. And if we're listed on every exchange... Not every exchange is going to be able to get a lot of tokens. What are they going to get to play with? 50,000? 10,000? 5,000? Then the price is going to go so high, so high. And then we're going to be in the decimals, the 0. 0.000. Like right now, it's easy to own one MM token. It's easy. We got them at a buck and sometimes $5. A lot of people are buying them at 180 bucks and things like that. But you know, in the future, in a month, in two months, in three months, Nobody's going to be able to afford one single MM, just like it's almost impossible for us, you know, the average person to afford one single Bitcoin. I've been investing in cryptocurrency since 2020, June. And I, I, I was investing beforehand in like the Bitcoin ETFs in Canada because we do have them. But I, I've never owned up until this point. I have yet to own an entire Bitcoin. The closest I ever had was like 0.36 of a Bitcoin. Then I sold some per, for profit. But basically now I only have 0.15 of a Bitcoin. And it's going to be like that for MM. It's going to be the point where it is going to be a prestige item to own one MM token. You're going to be in a select club, especially if we get on 10 different exchanges, right? There's not going to be enough MM to go around. That means the demand is going to be super high. The supply is going to be super low and the price is going to go up, 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 up. And then you're only going to be able to afford fractions of, M of MMs. Tech lead was very smart to do that. Pakistan, thank you. I seem like a soulmate to you. Well, let's not get crazy, Zarek Khan, because I'm married, have a baby, and I don't know you, and I don't think you should fly to Canada from Pakistan to meet me because you feel I'm your soulmate. I don't think that's going to turn out well for you. My wife can fight, and she's tough with a knife. So, yeah, um, let's just stay friends on, uh, on the YouTube, okay? Thanks. Yes, I hope so, Greg. I hope you're right. I would love for MM to get on Binance. Hello, Giant Stevgen. Welcome back to the stream. Nice to see you again. All M well, listen, they have already been sold. Here's the thing, Greg. There's the the market cap is 88 billion, sorry, 88 million right now, and the 24-hour trading volume is 42. So like half of the tokens are being bought and sold every day. And you know, if we look at if we look at the trading volume for what seven days, it's four hundred and thirteen million dollars worth of volume. And this the token right now, the market cap is only eighty six million dollars. That means we've what five x the market cap in trading volume in seven days. So yes, every token. Now I'm not saying every single token because I have 2,900 tokens that have that I've, I'm, I'm holding on to, which I have not sold, which I'm hodling. But virtually every token has been bought and sold five times over in the last seven days. Now, since we're hodling some, that means our tokens have not been traded. So a lot of other tokens have been traded more than five times. But on average, every single token has traded five times in the last seven days. So yes, they've all been sold. They've all been traded. And um, yeah. 
So, but remember that once when they get bought out of the liquidity pool, they get sold back into the liquidity pool, right? So, you know, they're, and, and they keep changing the price levels. So I don't think you'll ever see a zero in the liquidity pool because um, that was cease all trading on Uniswap. Travel lane, yeah, yes, I did. I didn't buy a jet ski, but I rented jet skis. We had a great time. Um, I do have some pictures on my Facebook. <laughs> we want your vlog on jet ski like Mubia from Loki. Yes, Mobius, right? I know. Owen Wilson's character. I love that. I relate to that guy. 21 BTC <laughs> equals 1M. That, wouldn't that be amazing, Sachin? Wouldn't that be amazing? 21 Bitcoin is 1MM. Holy smokes. Uh, in terms of scarcity, yes. In terms of scarcity. Um, yes, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to put the... Well, you see the little lion in the background, right? Do, 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 do. This is Pride Studio in the Lion's Den. We are, it's appropriate. I like the lion there. Majority of people are having a hard time buying a whole Ethereum at once. So imagine due to scarcity, MM will be the same for sure, right? I mean, holy smokes, an Ethereum is $2,000, right? That's not chump change. That's a lot of money for some people. Some people make that in a month, right? Or it takes longer than a month to make that. If you're working part-time or you're making a minimum wage, you might only be taking home $500 a week. You know, right? So to buy one Ethereum could be a stretch for most people. What is the best level to buy MM? Uh, dollar cost averaging, whatever level you can afford, whenever you want to enter. If you don't have any now, I would get one now. Um, if you already have lots, um, I would also buy more now. Uh, yes, yes. Let's look at that, Greg. So he did. Some of those are available on the Binance network. And let's take a look at that right here. You got to look on the Ether scan. So this is it right here, uh, number five, AnySwap BSC bridge. So there's uh, 18,000 token are in the uh, Binance bridge. 1.8% of the total supply. So not a lot. Now, when you bought yours, Greg, you said like what? There's, oh, there had only been like 50 transactions or something when you bought yours on Binance? So, um, hey, Tyler K, nice to see you. I am doing well. Thank you. How about yourself? I got a little bit of a sunburn. You can see my face is quite pink on my forehead, my nose. It was worse yesterday, but I've had a nap. I've put on some lotion. So, yeah. Hey, Greg, did you notice that uh, StreamYard did an update? Did you notice? Did you Have you closed the application, rebooted your computer, and then loaded it up again? Yes, Ben, it is possible to send million token to your ledger because it is an ERC20 token. It is an Ethereum token, right? So you can send it to your Ethereum wallet, I believe. I believe you can, right? I mean, I, um, that's what I did. You might have to like just go to Ledger Live. Yes, the answer is yes. Find out how to do it. Uh, I think on Binance Network, not sure if he created a separate contract address yes i don't know we will have to ask him patrick can you come on our stream please patrick shoe paging patrick shoe please come into the into the lion's den okay not rebooted lately we'll check yep um yeah i know because you know the audio test greg when you click on it it uh it totally changed the wave file so it's an entirely different new wave file so uh the price the chart let's refresh oh i better share sometimes i forget to share okay we're gonna go to uniswap 8281 so what we're seeing here like if you look into this chart okay so here's here's the green so if we take the bottom of the green we got a higher high a higher high, a higher high, and then here's a higher high, and then it dipped down, but it didn't dip as low as it did here. It had a lot of support at the $75 mark, or 78, 78 bucks, a lot of support right around here. So I think that's good. I think we're in an uptrend. I feel we're in an uptrend. Two different addresses, Vasana. Okay, that's all. Someone placed a huge liquidity wall in front of MM's current price. Now, when you say a liquidity wall, what do you mean by that? Harry, can you explain a little bit further in depth? What does a, a liquidity wall mean? Um, that they've made, what, the price range so narrow? 
or they just have so many tokens locked in at that price and they're not allowing it to grow out of that range. I'm not too sure what you mean by that. Finally got pancake swap working today. Never used Binance Smart Chain before. Took a couple hours. Ha ha. Yes. Okay. Who is this one? Asana, that's the other Binance Smart Chain address. Okay. I don't know if I can cut and paste it. I, I can't. Yeah, once you're, maybe I can. Can I copy? No, I can put you in timeout or I can block you. Those are the only options I have. I don't have an option for... I don't have an option for uh, copying it. Okay, I'll take your word for it, Vasana. I'll take your word for it. I feel like we've been in consolidation for many, many, many days. And it hasn't been as exciting as it was like, you know, the very good excitement when it was like July 3rd was very good excitement. And then July 11th was very good excitement. Ice Frost rewired Million Army in the house rewired yes so we've had some really good runs and it's been hella fun uh it's tapered off i wouldn't say it's died it's just a little bit i mean everything there was a the fees were quite high for a little bit i remember paying like 25 dollars for one of my transactions which is a little bit high miku i see you everywhere you're posting everywhere in the reddit community and the discord yeah, good for you. It's nice to see you, Miku. Miku, do you want to come on the stream? You did say one time in the past you'd like to come on again. Miku, would you like to come on the stream? It'd be nice to talk to you. Oh, Crypto Tiwi. Is this Tim? Is this Tim? Crypto Tiwi, are you Tim? You're going to be multimillionaire soon. Googliness. I hope so. I was a millionaire for a day. And then when the crypto went down, I was no longer a millionaire <laughs> playing Fortnite. <laughs> All right, Miku. All right. Another time. Another time. <laughs> Million is loved by North America. Asians love to short leverage everything. Well, I don't. That seems like a very big generalization, Charles. I don't think. Uh, I don't think that you can just say one race of people <laughs> does everything one way <laughs> and the other people don't do it another way. All right. <clears throat> Chris, what do you think about the whales that were exploiting the lack of liquidity yesterday? I don't know. I don't know what that means. The whales that were exploiting the lack of liquidity. So what does that mean? Hmm. Chris, you'll have to explain that to me. So some organized group placed liquidity in a $100 to $85 range. So much volume that it would take a lot of buying to deplete that pool. As a result, it's difficult to breach. Okay, but they made a lot of money in the um, in the uh, in the transfer fees, right? In the exchange fees. So they organized in a $100 to $85 range, so much volume that it would take a lot of buying to deplete that pool. As a result, it's difficult to breach. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Nathan Chua, okay. So you are telling me all Asians use leveraged buyings? <laughs> I don't know. Because uh, Greg is Asian and I don't believe Greg does any leveraged buying. So is he the exception to the rule? Good vibes, winner, si winner, winner sinner or winner signer? If you're winner sinner, you should have two ends in there, right? Winner sinner, winner signer? All right. Anyways. I want to have more information about these liquidity pools. <laughs> so Crypto Tiwi, you also... See, this is why we cannot... Ben, is that your real face? Because it seemed like your icon has changed. I like your real face better. You're a handsome young man. Good for you. Dispel, dispel the race rumors, okay? We don't have to have any, you know... You cannot classify that one entire race of people, you know, act a certain way. It's just not right. It's just not right. It's just easier to do in Asia. I believe it or not, people were talking about Bitcoin in the 19th before it even existed. Okay, Charles, I don't know what you're talking about. Joe Jackson. <laughs> it just, okay. All right, Charles. Liquidity pool team has done amazing work and we will soon moon. All right, I believe you. It's my real face. Ben, I like your real face. You are a handsome young lad. Are you even old enough to invest? 
you look 16 years old here. I'm sorry if that's not accurate. How old are you, Ben? How old are you? We should do a live stream together. Okay, Tiwi, you want to come on now? We can get you on now. Can we provide more to crypto course you are working on? It's already for sale. It's in the description of each of our videos. Yes, it's on special right now. Um, yes, and uh, we keep adding to it. We've just added a bunch of stuff about staking uh, USDC for 14% interest. And we added, thank you, Ben, for the lion. We added a bunch of stuff about, um, uh, we added a bunch of stuff for, oh yeah, MetaMask. And Greg added some stuff for Binance Smart Chain. So yeah, we were being attacked by whales. So the Discord had to put up a liquidity wall so the price wouldn't fall back so far. So it makes it more difficult. Oh, Okay, awesome. So it was a preventative measure. It was a stopgap. Oh my goodness. Okay, Ben, you're 23. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, when you get to be my age, everyone looks so young. All right. I'm Kiwi Asian. All right. Kiwi Asian. So that means you're from New Zealand. Awesome. Good stuff. Tyler, do you use TradingView? Uh, I do not use TradingView. I'm not a trader. Uh, QWERTY, thank you for asking. I do still have a position in Million. I would be ashamed to come on here and live stream with you guys if I didn't have diamond hands. You guys would make fun of me. You would call me paper hands or cabbage hands. And I cannot, I'm not going to let you guys down. I do still have 2,900 MM tokens. I was going to keep exactly 3,000 for a long, long, long term. But I just took an extra hundred out, just a little bit more cash cushion because I did pay off all my credit cards. I did pay off all my taxes and I needed some money to just to live and have some fun. I sold, I had 4,400 at the highest point and I've sold 1,500. So that leaves me 2,900. And I just broke them up and put them in different wallets just for safekeeping, you know, because I just won't, you know, I'm too transparent with you guys. I show you everything and I leave myself open to attack. So I try to protect myself as much as possible. But yeah, it was just too much to have in my MetaMask on this computer that I live stream from. So I took a lot of them into cold storage. I shall bring them back on board when I want to sell when it's at a $10 trillion market cap, $10 billion market cap. Okay. Unfortunately, you can't post. Okay. Gotcha, Harry. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to, I got your email, um, Isaac Moo, and I'm going to look at that. Yes, Crypto Tiwi. Thank you, Joe Jackson. Proud of you. Thank you. I would never sell out. I'm not a sellout, guys. But I had to make the best decision for me and my family. My wife wanted me to pay off the credit cards because it's kind of, we've been holding balances for a long time. She's every, ever since she's known me for four years, I've had credit card balances. And then, um, she would want to buy something. I'd say, no, 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 we cannot buy right now. We have too much credit card debt. <laughs> so then she'd say, pay the credit card. I don't want to hear you say that anymore. Now we have enough money. You can pay it. So pay it off. I don't want you to tell me we cannot afford anything anymore. <laughs> so kind of uh, my excuse kind of came back to bite me in the ass. Okay, 100 levels being sold off greatly. Massive volume. Sailing. Tremammer and Kraken. Nice. Are you guys sailing around the world? Awesome. Uh, we are actually looking to rent a yacht with a captain for the Okanagan Lake so we can take a big group of us, family and friends, and I don't want to drive the boat. I don't want to be responsible for it. I just want to have fun with my friends and family and, uh, you know, just play with all the toys, you know, jump off the boat, off the deck, go swimming, you know, get towed behind some stuff. Anyways, you know, but it's better if somebody else is driving. I don't want to be responsible. Okay, Tiwi. Tiwi's content is good. Like to see you both live streaming together. We can make it happen. I love collabs. I absolutely love, love, love collabs. Damian Ferguson, do you have any thoughts on usage and expectation to build the coin? Usage. Okay. Right now, it's a store of value. It's a very speculative store of value, but it hasn't really. I mean, it came out at a dollar, and it dipped to like forty bucks, right? And it went back up to eighty. So it's a pretty good store of value. Not so much if you bought it $200, but it will go higher. So it doesn't need to be anything more than that right now. It just needs to be what it is right now. Right now, it's a social experiment. 
Okay. Now social experiments can turn into something real and tangible. Look at Dogecoin. Dogecoin started out as a social experiment, right? And now they've got uh, the Flare token is building smart contracts on the Dogecoin, right? Now they're using it for payments, for transaction. For It's an actual currency. You can buy things with it. And um, same thing with Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin was just like a store of value. It was never really good as a payment. But now with the Lightning Network on the level, on the, on the level two, right? On uh, layer two, sorry. Now with Lightning Network, look at that. The whole country of El Salvador is using it as, as, as currency, as, as legal tender. But how many years did it take Bitcoin to get there? 13 years, right? So, Damien, any expectations for the community to build the coin token? Yes, eventually, but it needs time to get there. It's only not even been three weeks since inception. Can you? Can we just let it be what it is right now? It doesn't have to be anything else other than what it is right now. QWERTY, the LP guy is here. Hello, QWERTY. Hello. Yes, we will collab soon. Million going to melt faces soon. I think so. Yes, it's already melted my face. You believe 10 billion market cap is in the realm of possibility? Absolutely. I do believe a 10 billion market cap is in the realm of possibility. Absolutely. That would be, what, $10,000 per coin? Yep. It's the scarcity, guys. It's all about the scarcity. One million tokens is scarce, scarce, scarce. That's the fifth scarcest of all the tokens in all of the 10,700 coin market caps. Everything else is in the billions or the trillions or the quadrillions, right? But this is only a million. Tech lead is super smart. Don't underestimate the intelligence of tech lead. He's brilliant. He saw the writing on the wall and he knew. He knew. He's like, he could have easily done what the Shiba Inu did and the Cummies token and the BitTorrents and just made quadrillions of them, right? But he's so super smart. He's like, no, I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to make this thing so scarce and so rare that people are going to be beating a door, beating a path to my door, begging me to list this token on their exchange and get whatever few tokens they can. And it's already happened. L Bank basically kicked down Tech Lead's door and said, please let us list your token. They wanted to be one of the first to get in so they could allocate some MM to their exchange. What happens when the big boys come on board, right? There's not enough MM to go around for everybody, right? If Binance says, I want 100,000 of your tokens, no, sorry. You can't have 100,000 of our tokens. There's not enough tokens to go around. You can maybe have 10,000 of our tokens. That means the price is going to go so high and people are just going to be buying fractions of them. So a $10 billion market cap could come faster than we think. Adding liquidity in USDC right behind the price line and MM above the price line plus 15 to 25% and doing so dynamically to adjust for the reduction of whale cell impact along with the increased byproduct. Okay, Surin, thank you. It sounds all Greek to me, but I'll take your word for it. I'm going to leave that to the smart people. Let's go for $1 billion first. Yeah, easily. It'll get there easily, easily. Uh, Fabian, how was it, how was it your fault that my video was down last video? How was it your fault? Did you hack into my computer? Did you get into my camera? Fabian, please explain yourself <laughs> or are you just making fun? I think MM will be a hedge against crypto as crazy as it sounds. When the whole market drops, you're kind of right. It's kind of like the anti-crypto, right, Cordy? Like this, this thing is so, it, it's like contrary into everything else. And the other coins got millions and billions and quadrillions of tokens. We're going to have only 1 million. All right. Everybody's fighting for the pennies. We're going to go to the thousands of dollars. Right. Like, look at, look at Shiba, Shiba Inu. They're praying. They're begging. Please, can we get to a penny? Please, can we get to a penny? And look at Dogecoin. Come on, everybody. Dogecoin to a dollar. We got to make a dollar. We have to have a dollar. Life won't be complete without a dollar Dogecoin and a penny Shiba Inu. Tech lead? No, it's a buck and it's only going to go higher. And then it did. It went to $200, right? It's going to go higher still. It's going to get to $1,000. It's going to get to $10,000. It's the anti-crypto. It is. It's like it's doing everything the opposite of what everybody else has been doing. And it's making waves and people are going to see that. Nobody wants to own a, you know, 10,000th 10, 10, of a penny of something, right? 
come on, let's be real. Like you don't go to buy some bananas and it's like, you know, I'm going to get, you know, a bunch of bananas and that's going to cost me 12 hundredths of a penny. No, a bunch of bananas is going to cost you a buck or two, right? Come on, get real. I buy a million on $200. Now on 80, I full loss. Okay, Hussein, listen, just buy again. Keep Every time the price go down, buy more. It's going to lower your price. Look, in the price, in order for you to make money, if you bought at 200 and you bought the same amount at 80, okay, your average price is somewhere in the middle, right? The difference between 80 and 200 is 120. So let's say 60 bucks. So 80 plus 60, 140. Let's just say, Hussein, you bought an equal dollar value at 200 and 80 and $80. Now your average price is 140. So it doesn't ever have to get to 200 again for you to be profitable. It only has to get to 141 and you're back in profit. So don't worry about it, man. That's dollar cost averaging. Just keep buying when it dips, buy when it dips, buy when it dips. See, Crypto Tiwi knows dollar cost averaging, buddy. DCA. Oh my goodness, they're getting ahead of me again. I think usage will be marketing associated with the high-end niche category. Yes, high-end niche. You're right. Dogecoin is trash. What will happen with MM when the crypto bull market starts happening again? The price is going to skyrocket, dude. It's supply and demand. It has such a limited supply and demand is going to go high. That's me. You're going to see, you're going to see parabolic straight line gains up the Wahoo. I mean, tulips in Belgium in the 1600s were going for like what? A million dollars equivalent today for tulips. Will it cross 200 in this week? It's possible. I hope it does. I think it can. Yeah, I agree, right? Tech lead would be insane not to build on top of MM. It's a golden opportunity. We'll take time like all crypto. Yes. Bonsai, MM token. Hello, by the end of the month for sure. Crypto Tiwi. Let's pump this <laughs> fat hand. Good to see you back. Mr. DeVries, love your channel. Thank you. I haven't seen you comment all that much, but I appreciate that. It's really, really great. I think I have seen your name before. Thank you for loving our channel. We do a lot of different stuff. Greg and I, uh, you know, we all contribute you know, a lot of things in our own unique ways. Greg is a lot more technical than me. And, um, you know, but I, I probably like to talk a lot more than Greg. So when I get going, I can get really going. Um, and, uh, you know, but we complement each other well. And between Greg and I, we pump in a lot of content out there. Like we have over 220 videos and we've really only been doing this since April. So we're going to continue to provide a lot of value for you guys. And uh, please like this video. And if you haven't already, we'd appreciate a subscribe and put check the all button, you know, the little bell for your notifications, because I, I don't have any set schedule. I just live stream when I feel like it. So I could come on at two in the morning or two in the afternoon, or you never know, sometime in between. So uh, if you put your notifications in, then you'll get our alert. And I'm always on top of the news as much as possible. I'd like to share my perspective. So yeah, I'm happy to provide value for you guys. 200 support will soon be a support. Yes, I hope so. My goal is 10,000, which is still way cheaper than Bitcoin. It is, right? And a lot scarcer than Bitcoin. L Bank is pretty slow. Yeah, I don't know much about them. Do you own OM? <laughs> yes. Do I own MM? Yes, I own a lot. 2,900 MMs. What do I? Let's put that in perspective. Let's go here and share my screen. Okay, bring up my calculator. 2,900 MMs times 85 bucks. Yes, I own $246,500 worth of MM. And I've already cashed out quite a lot. So yes, QWERTY's back. QWERTY, 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 QWERTY. I think million is going to make every holder a millionaire. The craziest things happen in this space. Yeah, changed my life already. You read my chat, then you decide to go on your computer and saw something that happened. Yes, baby, you're right. All right, 1,000 MM. Come on, let's go. At what price do you see this by the end of July? Wow. Okay, so we're like halfway through the release of it. It went from $1 to $220, down to $40, back to $85. Okay. Um, end of July, $300. Bucks. That's my prediction. $300, end of July. Let's assume current price is $9. If huge supply of $10 is available, then it's difficult to buy out all the $10 and rise above. If $8 has low supply, then it's easy to deplete and fall to 7 Okay, interesting. All right, that makes sense to me. That's liquidity pool explanation within 200. <laughs> Thank you, Harry L. Thank you so much, Harry. Appreciate that. How do we know when you will be streaming? Is there a certain schedule? No, burn to earn. That's why you got to subscribe and click the notification. 
because basically a lot of my schedule depends on my family uh, because I am self-employed, but I don't spend any time in my massage business. Um, I spend all my time in crypto and family life. And uh, my parents live here and I'm kind of uh, helping them out, do some shopping for them, take them around wherever they need to go, doctor's appointments and whatnot. And my wife and baby are with me all the time, 24-7, whom I love and adore them all. So um, yeah, whenever they're asleep or whenever I get some free time, I'm going to live stream if there's any news in there. I didn't live stream yesterday because we were jet skiing and I got a really bad sunburn and I was just pooped, just poopered, just drained out. But we did some tutorials and Greg put a lot of comment content in the Investing Nomads channel. So I didn't feel it was necessary. And as the next maker, yeah, like maker's got the same, Yassine, maker has the same scarcity. They only have like what, 900,000 tokens and their price is what, 2,000 something? Last I checked, maybe 2,500, $3,000. So yeah, I mean, when you have low scarcity, when you have a when you have very little coins available and a high demand, the price is going to go high. Yeah, so easy, easy, easy. Um, yeah, I mean... I think probably it's it's a more evolved like Bitcoin. Bitcoin was the first, so it had a lot of hurdles to hop over. It took a lot of time to get adoption. I mean, the first transaction was what ten thousand Bitcoin for somebody to deliver a pizza, and it had been around for months or years before anybody actually. I mean, people it was all speculative. It was like, what are these Bitcoin things, right? Like, what are we going to do with them? They have no value, and. You know, nobody accepts them and they're hard to buy. And I had to send a money order for to, to Japan and it took like seven, 14 days to clear before I could buy my Bitcoins. So it was very difficult. They had many hurdles to overcome. And, it, you know, it was like they were the first. So there was a lot of skepticism about Bitcoins and cryptocurrencies in general. Now we've had 13 years of this to incubate. So, you know, so now when something good comes along, um, it can... It can really like the 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 rate of adoption. This is what Raoul Paul talks about. Raoul Paul talks about the exponential age. So things happen so much faster as time goes on, and technologies get better and faster, and adoption just can like whoom, like zoom. So Bitcoin needed 13 years to prove to the people that a cryptocurrency is here to stay, and there's value in it, and you can make money from it. And now that people know this. I think MM can quickly far ex like like just like just like Ethereum is in many ways overtaking like it's flipped Bitcoin in, in a lot of regards in processing transaction volume in the first you know the first amount of wall to a million wallets and a million users like Bit like Ethereum has overtake overtaken Bitcoin in many regards just the only one that hasn't overtaken it in his market cap. Uh, and that, you know, so Bitcoin took 13 years to get where it is. Ethereum took only five years to get where it is. The next cryptocurrency is going to do it in five months. That's just what the exponential age means. That as, as things get more and more adopted, the newcomers can like supersede them a lot easier. And uh, MM can certainly do that. The global luxury brand, you're right. And I think, you know, it's all kudos to the community who built this website and to who built this logo. This is a stellar logo. This lion is amazing. And the fact that the word lion is in the word million, right? And the scarcity, like, oh yeah, like to, to tell people I have a million token. You got a million token? Imagine a million token being a million dollars at one time, right? My God, that's going to be amazing. That is a global luxury brand. Uh, the worst case scenario is it goes to zero. Uh, the SEC, you know, charges him with something or, you know, crypto in general goes the, like the banks decide, yep, uh, we're going to ban all exchanges. We're going to ban all DeFi exchanges. We're going to buy, you know, we're you can only buy crypto now through um, your, your banks, through your JP Morgans and your Bank of Americas and your New York Mellons and your Goldman Sachs, right? I um, mean, that's the worst that could happen. The worst that could happen is we go to World War III and annihilate the Earth. That's the worst that could happen. A satellite could smash into us and, and you know, put us in the dark ages for decades and decades. That's the worst that could happen. Um, are those likely? Probably not. But yeah, it could. You could go to zero. It could go to zero. You could lose all your money. So maybe. Or you get hit by a bus tomorrow and it doesn't matter how many millions you have in the MM token because you're dead and you can't spend it. 
Um, so that's the worst that could happen is everybody dies a slow, painful death. <laughs> what is your average cost? $5, $4.75 US. Hi, my friend, David in Cardano. I love your name, David. Worst case, that we're, whatever the worst thing you can think of, there's something worse that could happen. <laughs> MM has been around for 18 days. Liquid has achieved already. Give it time, everybody. Kyler, yes, truer words. I've never been spoken before, right? Where do you see MM a week from now? A uh, higher price than now. A higher price than now. I think it's kind of reached its bottom. People are kind of waiting for it to feel its bottom. Like if you look at the chart, right? As an outsider looking in, right? What does this chart tell you? As an outsider looking in, if you're just thinking, learning about MM now and you saw it was released at a dollar, you saw it go to 220 and you watched it go down and to the right. You saw it consolidate a bit. Like when you were here, when you were here, you were like, oh, it's probably going to go back up again, right? Because it didn't really dip below this point. This, this was kind of the bottom, 125. But then it dipped a little bit lower and then it went up and then it dipped a little bit lower. And the people thought, oh, okay, that's the bottom. That's the bottom. It's going to go up. But it didn't. It went back down again. And when, and people thought 100. A lot of people were telling us, ah, 100 is the lowest. It's not going to dip below 100. But then it did, right? It went to what? 45 bucks, 40 bucks, something around there on one of these tails. But look, you look at this chart. What does this tell you? From an outsider looking in, you're like thinking, okay, we have finally reached the bottom, right? Because this little section is higher than this little section here. Whereas this little section was lower than these little sections, right? So yeah, it dipped here, but this was lower than this. And then it dipped here, but this was lower than this. Now you see we've dipped here, but this part is higher than this. This part, if you come across, it's a little bit higher. So this looks to me like we've reached the bottom and it's probably going to start to go up again. That's my non-professional opinion. My non-professional opinion. Um, I query a thousand by the end of the month is probably a little bit optimistic. Tyler, I, uh, I've been following tech lead for oh, you know a couple of years already and his video dropped and I just recognized it right away. You know, you got to let your winners run. So when when amazing people on a project, that project is going to be amazing. Tech lead is an amazing person, brilliant, super clever, 5D inter interdimensional chess. You don't get to work for Google and Facebook at that high level unless you have superior intelligence. He has it all. He's the whole package. His wife should never have left him. She's crazy. This guy has it all. And so anyways, when amazing people start a project, it's going to be an amazing project. That's just the nature of the beast, right? Smart people do smart things. They change the world. They revolutionize the world. A 22-hour access stream. Okay, I was thinking about, you know what? I'll tell you guys, if it's on the charts, if it's on the way to a to, um, billion-dollar market cap to $1,000, I will live stream. You know, once it reaches 900 million market cap, I will live stream until we heat, until we reach a billion dollar market cap, okay? At $900, it's going to be a non-stop live stream, okay? Until it reaches until it reaches a uh, a tr billion dollars, so $1000 price point or it dips below 800, okay? But once it reaches 900, boom, I'm live streaming full time, non-stop. That's my promise to you guys, okay? The ride to a billion dollar market cap Hey man, hit me up on Discord and we can plan our stream for Friday. Okay, we can do a we can do Friday. Um, I don't really go on Discord much. It's best if you send me your email to my email, courses at raynormassage.ca. Courses at raynormassage.ca. In my uh, emails in the description there. Yes, over on the weekend, whenever you like Crypto Tiwi. Okay, you should stream one day for a full 36 hours. Okay, that'd be more than one day. <laughs> Because math, if Safe Moon and Shiba can get past a billion dollar market cap and they have unlimited supply, imagine MM. You're right. You're right, Chris. That's 100% true. 100% true. If Binance get a hold of a million token, oh my God, let's get it. Hey, that sounds like BitBoy Crypto. Let's get it. MM to 100K? Yes, easily to 1,000. To 1,000. Yes, to 1,000. You're right. Binance listing is coming soon. I know so many people that would invest in it when it's on Binance. Ben? You're a handsome young man. I just look at that picture and I just think to be your age and that handsome again, 
Actually, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't turn back the clock because I love my wife and I love my daughter and I love my position in life. But it'd be nice to look like you and be investing like you because you're like what? At what, 22, 23 years old you said you are? To be starting at your age again, amazing. The in, What you've learned right now, you know, you are in the like the fastest growing financial space of all time. And I just started, you know, in 2016 investing. <clears throat> and for you to be at 22, 23 and investing now, wow. Look out world. Here comes Ben. Uh, if there's enough buying pressure, the market will absorb every sell and only go up. Buying pressure a la Doge will put this token at one million a token. I would love that. A million dollars a token. Holy smokes. A million, a million. What is the math on that? One million times one million. My goodness. A million dollars a token? Wow. Okay. Okay, that's fair. Low burn to earn. There you go. I bought it 160. Hope it gets at least 300 by the end of the month. Yes. Okay. Or, and if it, or just buy more. Wolf Gangas, banana, just buy more. If you bought it 160, well, the price is 80. If you had conviction in it at $160, you saw it go up and up and up and it went to $160 and you said, I'm going to put my buy order in now at $160. Well, it's $85, Wolfgangus. It's half that price right now. If you thought it was a good deal at $160 at a 50% discount, you don't think it's a good deal right now? Buy more at $85. Please buy more. Then your average price is going to be lower. And then when it does reach higher, you're going to make more money. Okay? <laughs> I have been told. I have, you know. When you get older, your ball sack hangs lower than your than your than your penis. So you end up when you urinate, you actually just cover your testicles. In I'm talking. I don't. No one wants to hear this. I'm sorry. No one wants to. <laughs> Aside from MM, what other altcoins do you like? XRP, V Chain, Cardano, ADA. Those are my three. And the Crypto.com coin. Those I like those a lot too. Yes, it's still early. It's still early. MM back to 10 before. No way, George. There's no way it's going to 10 bucks. There's no way. It's not going to 10, George. I can guarantee you. You know why it's not going to 10? Because when it hits 20, when it hits 20, I'm locked and loaded to buy more and more and more. I have so much more wealth. I am ready to put forward into the MM token. Like I'm already stacking bags a lot. I'm stacking a lot. Um, now, I was ready. I was ready. I saw it go down and I'm like, please hit 30 bucks, hit 20 bucks. I'm ready to buy back in. But then it hit 40 and started to rebound. And I'm like, eh. So I'm one of those guys that is going to make sure it never, ever goes less than 20 bucks because I am going to snatch it up as much as possible because that was my highest buy price on my spreadsheet. I'll show you that. I will prove it to you if I, I just have to get to my spreadsheet. Give me a moment, guys. I know you can see my face, but I've got to get to my spreadsheet. I've got to open it up before I can share it with you. Okay. All right. So now, oh, this is the wrong one. I opened up the wrong spreadsheet. Okay. We are going to go talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. That's the church lady from Saturday Night Live from a long time ago. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Oh, I put it out. I put it out. Oh, shoot. It's not here anymore. It's not here anymore because I consolidated. Sorry, I cannot show you my buy order. I cannot show you my buy order because um, I amalgamated it all. But the highest price I paid for tokens was 20 bucks. And um, I said, if it ever dipped dip below 20 again, I'd buy more. Yes, Ben. How many tokens you got, Ben? How many tokens you got? It's a great time to be alive. So lucky to have invested so much in MM. Yeah. Yes, sailing the world while cryptoing. High, how high of a market cap do we need for less manipulative control? I don't know if I can answer that question. Manipulative control. I mean, I don't think it's being manipulated as much as something like Bitcoin, right? There's, and you need a lot of institutional dollars to do that. It takes a lot of money to move a market up or down. A lot of money. $89 coming. Good stuff. Hey, Terry. Hey, LFM. 810 mm? 810? Oh, my goodness. Let's get my calculator. 810 tokens times 85 bucks 
$68,000, Ben, at 22 years old, 23 years old. Hello, hello. My God, the world is your oyster. My goodness. And wow, you got it all, buddy. You have it all. I bet you have a family that loves you too. I bet you do. You got youth and good looks and money in your wallet and a family that loves you. My goodness, you're one of the chosen ones. You're kissed by God. We gonna pamp. We gonna pamp it up. You're right. Bro, you're laughing. Yes, I am. I got in at a dollar thirty. Casey Adams. Hello. You look like my friend. I know I know I look someone look just like you. 130. Good for you. I paid 140. Respect the pamp. It's it's gonna be a lifestyle 989 this week. Wouldn't that be amazing, right? Wouldn't that be amazing? I think it will lower to 60 to 675, but we'll never see a 35 mm again. No, I'm like I said, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start buying at 30 and see what happens. If it continues to dip, I'll buy more at 25. And if it continues to dip to 20, I'm gonna be putting in tens of thousands of dollars. Tens of thousands of dollars. I'm ready to go to pump that baby up. Cause I think I sold too many. So I wanna regain my position again. It's $90, 1K by end of month. Remember, Quirt said it. All right, Quirt, 1,000 by the end of the month. That's more than a 10X from here, right? I mean, it could do it. I mean, I did a 200X in a few days, right? It could do a 10X from here. But the larger the market cap, the harder it is to climb. How high do you think it will go by the end of the week? It bought it at 41. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see that anymore. I think we're going to find new resistance at 60, 65 if it does dip a little bit more. But I think we're on an upward trend, cakes and art. So um, I think it's just going to go up a little bit, you know, um, now that summer exchanges have it. Yeah, it's going to keep going up. What's your take on the next pump? Or will this be a coin we just hold for a while? It's exceeded all my expectations. I never thought it would do what it's done so far. So it seems like the timeline for MM is condensed. So whatever, like we've been consolidating in the, in the traditional crypto market for the last three months already, right? Like pretty much April and, and uh, uh, you know, the first part of May were really good for crypto. And then it's just been like crap city. It's just been a nothing burger. As uh, Kevin O'Leary says, it hasn't done much in what, you know, I, I, my high was 614,000 on my crypto.com account. And now I'm like 239,000. So it's dropped almost $400,000 of value in like two months, a little two and a half months. And it's really kind of consolidated and gone down. And you know, what, what happened with the MM token? A week, a week it's been consolidating. That's it. And now we're starting to get back up again. So I think everything happens faster with MM. I think it's a limited supply is the scarcity. That's the big reason for that. There's just not enough tokens for it to stay depressed for that long. Right? So pamp it. See you wrong. <laughs> I like your meme. Yes, my family thought I'm crazy when I told them that I invested in new cryptocurrency and, and no, they think I'm super smart, even though I just watched a YouTube video. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Good for you, man. Good for you. Can you please promote MM to the XRP community? They deserve to know about MM. Well, just get Bitboy Crypto to talk about it, right? Somebody send Bitboy Crypto some MM tokens. He's got a million subscribers, so he's got a lot more sway than me. Um, I don't actually participate in the XRP community. I'm a follower. I'm not a talker. I don't do any XRP streams. Um, there's enough people doing that already. Working Money Channel, Moon Lambo. Um, digital perspectives, digital asset investor. So there's quite a lot of people. Um, what's the other XRP right now is another one. So yeah, I mean, I'm a follower of the XRP community, but I'm not a leader. I would say I'm a little bit of a leader in the MM community just because I was like one of the pioneers, one of the first, one of the originals. I'm one of the OPs in the MM community. And I've been kind of documenting the journey from day one, but I haven't been doing that for XRP. I'm a little bit late to the party for XRP. There's already enough people doing what they're doing. I can't add any more value to the XRP community. I think I can add a lot of value to the MM. If Bitcoin goes up, will MM? I think they're kind of, I don't know if they're uh, they're tethered like that. Excuse the pun, I said tether. I don't think uh, MM and Bitcoin in the regular traditional market, I think they're really kind of decoupled. MM is its own thing. It's its own beast, right? It, um, it, it Because it's kind of DeFi right now, it's only DeFi decentralized exchanges on DEXs with the with the exception of gate io and, and l bank <clears throat> so um you know you kind of have to be an outlier and an outsider to get into the mm token so i don't think it follows the traditional markets right now yeah that's right i was a millionaire 
and there were a lot of multi-millionaires there, right? So you're right. When it hit 200 bucks, I was a millionaire in MM. Okay. 200 to 250 by the end of July, early August. I hope you're right. What do you think about the Binance listing? Will it come faster than we think? I think so, yes. If CZ is really following us, they need to do something good because they have a bad public image right now. There's a lot of bad publicity going on about Binance right now. A lot of countries are banning them, you know, for, you know, regulatory reasons. So they need they need a fresh start. They need a big surge of something new and fresh to kind of give them some uh, give them a leg up. Uh, Bitbo got mad on live stream because the MM arm release is that right? <laughs> That's amazing. Good for MM holders. Thirteen thousand two sixty four. That's great. I have checked on Hex and Pulse Chain. That will be a fork of Ethereum coming up soon. I don't know. I don't. I never got into Hex. Uh, Richard Hart is a, just a little bit too controversial for me. And uh, I think he's brilliant, but I think he's too full of himself. I don't think he has, like, if you compare Richard Hart to Tech Lead, um, Richard Hart doesn't have the humility that Tech Lead has. Now, Tech Lead is is he's a little bit sarcastic, but he and he's a little bit like self-deprecating, arrogant. Like it's almost it's like tongue in cheek when he says it. Like I don't like he. I I feel inside he does feel humble as a human being. Um, uh, but it like, so it's a joke when he jokes about not being humble, like it's kind of like satire, you know, whereas Richard, Richard Hart, he's just arrogant, you know, he's very brilliant as well too. And he's, his project is pretty cool, but he's just arrogant for the sake of being arrogant. He hasn't really taken a position of humility as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, you know, I don't think he, he jokes about himself too much like the tech lead does. Like I think Richard Hart really takes himself seriously and he doesn't like when people complain about him. You know, tech lead has some humanity, has a lot more humanity. That's my opinion on the two of them. Have you, Shark Tacos, have you taken a look at how liquidity pool works? Uh, somebody, uh, Isaac Moo, just sent me uh, an, e an email on that. I haven't had a chance to read that. I've been busy jet skiing. Sorry, I'll get to the liquidity pools at some point in the future. We'll add that to our course. Very happy for you and Ben in the chat. If only I was subbed to Tech Lead around July. Yes, well, you know, Tyler, everything happens for a reason. 5K by the end of the year? I hope so. That would be amazing. Tyler K. Stuttler, I remember me being mad that I didn't get in on the first day. Yep. Well, I got in on the first day, but by the time I got to my tokens, it was $1.40. I don't know. Area 51, interesting. Joe Jackson was I was I was part of that army. I was shielding on his channel. <laughs> we hold strong together. Ifarge, welcome back. Cool lion poster. Thank you. Thank you. Cool lion poster. It's hard when you're like seeing the camera and you're like doing. Yeah, here. Thanks. This is a pride studio in the lion's den for the MM community. Is crypto a friendly, a crypto friendly place? Yes. Thankfully for us, yes, we're very progressive for crypto. We're probably going to be one of the next countries to have a digital currency, a central bank digital currency. And uh, crypto.com is amazing here. We have lots of exchanges as well, too. We have uh, NDAX, National Digital Asset Exchange. We have Netcoins. We have a few others as well, too. My next buy-in is $20. And I'll start buying at 30 30 and below, I'm going to start buying. <clears throat> Everyone should rewatch the last 10 Tech Lead videos. It's enlightening. He really explains everything straightforward and transparent. All sides, Tomas, you are right. He is, he, he is the leader that we need. He is the developer that we need. He is, uh, right? I mean, he is Satoshi Nakamoto. If Satoshi Nakamoto was not pseud pseudonymous, 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 you know what I mean. Can we pull together some MMM and send BitBoy? I'm not parting with any of my, I'm not parting with any of my MM tokens. He's already got $10 million. He doesn't need our money. Do you know any crypto tax accountants you recommend? It depends on where you live because um, it's right. It depends on your area. Um, I have a great person. She doesn't want me to actually recommend her because she, she doesn't consider herself a crypto expert, but I think she is, but she just doesn't want people to. Anyways, my accountant is a female and I pay her a hundred dollars an hour because she's amazing. And I think she's great, but she doesn't want any referrals, so I cannot put her name out here. Richard Hart is going to fork Ethereum. All the coins on Ethereum will also be on the Pulse chain, so there will be a copy of MM on it too. I don't know how Richard Hart can fork Ethereum. How can he do that? 
Doesn't he need to have 51% of the coins? Joe Way, that just sounds like FUD rumors to me. Remember on April 1st, they were going to fork the Ethereum chain as well too. On April 1st, they were going to get together and one of the big mining pools was going to fork it because they were kind of, they were kind of, um, they were not wanting a, a EIP 1559. So they were threatening to fork it. It never happened. So uh, Richard Hart cannot fork Ethereum. Sorry, I don't think it's going to happen. Don't think so. People, this is still the beginning. For those that are worried, they missed the boat. We are just fueling the rocket. You are right. You are right. And we need a country to adopt him. <laughs> yeah, give it time, guys. 18 days. All right, that's in it for me, guys. I've done an hour and 45 minutes of live streaming over two different broadcasts. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Joe Way, I will look it up. If it's in the crypto news, I'm going to hear about it because uh, I've always got my ears to the ground. Um, so anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. So I'm Terry half of the Investing Nomads channel, coming to you live from Pride Studio in the Lion's Den. And I wish, you for, for, I wish for all of you to live your lives large and in charge. $1,000 MM by the end of the month. Take care, everybody.